show front doorbell. Hi guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show and we're back for part two of the battery operated UV HD 2K doorbell. We're gonna go over a few more details of it that we didn't fit in on part one. So stay tuned and we'll get right to it. Show front doorbell. Okay. All right, and we're back. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a deeper dive into the Eufy security app. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up for us. And we're gonna look at our menu screen that we have. Uh, see how it notifies you also. See that notification I got? Eufy kitchen cam, someone has been spotted. So those are notifications you can have turned on or off within the Eufy app. And the top one you see is the new doorbell that I have. And I have it displayed actually live right here on the Fire TV. So first of all, if you look there, you got the little bell with Z's. If you press that, you can uh, snooze it. You can motion snooze, home base snooze for however many times, 30 minutes up to 12 hours in case you didn't want to be uh, bothered by it. Maybe you're taking a nap or something like that. That's what you can do there. So we'll go back. And then the, the next uh, item next to the Z's with the bell, there's a notification uh, counter. It says we got three notifications today. If you press that, it will open up these different notifications. It will tell you uh, if it spotted a person, which I think I have it already, to only detect uh, human people and not any type of motion because I do have a palm tree out there and I don't want it to set off every time the wind blows. So if we go in here, we can see, just view one of these and just see what it looks like. Looks like that's my dad leaving earlier today. Nice clear picture. I like that picture. Nice, bright, and really colorful. So that's a really good picture on these. And if you want, you can download it. If you see the bottom left, you could download this or share this in case you had a break in or something like that. You go into the actual individual clip and then download it or share it. So we'll go back here for now. And at the top, you'll notice there's October 27th. If I go back, I've had this up for a couple days now. You can go back through the different dates. I think this was the day, October 25th, I was actually installing it, so it was moving around a lot. Let me just hit one of these and test it. Yeah, that's when I was going out to test it. So, like I said, nice, clear, colorful pictures on this camera. I'm very happy with that. And then we'll go ahead and back out of this. Whoops, go to home. If I get out of here devices right there next one over you have the gear where front doorbell all the way to the right top is the gear and that's your settings so let's go into the gear settings and here easily uh, visually you can see battery doorbell and it's got the little green battery there and it's full so it's telling you he's got a full battery and here you can have different settings have the camera on or off uh, status LED if you want that on I want that on Auto night vision, I got that on. Logo watermark, I never keep the, their watermarks on. So uh, you have motion detection if you go in there. See, I've got human only to detect. And sensitivity at three, and it's been doing great at three. So you can set that higher, lower sensitivity. We'll go back. Power manager, I should say. There's where you see the detail current battery. It says it's 94%. So it's been up for a couple days, 94%. It also, to tells you total detected events that this little doorbell has picked up and recorded and saved events 19 different saved events and recorded and that records on the SD card that is in the UV home base not in the doorbell itself so if the 
doorbell got stolen or something, you still got the, you know, the video of whoever stole it and the SD card in your home, UV home base. So that's where it records it. Okay, and I got uh, balanced surveillance clips up to 30 seconds, which is fine for me. You got different settings here, optimal battery life, however you want to set it. So go back, uh, video quality, I've got it at like auto quality and uh, streaming to uh, smart display first for the Alexas and stuff like that. That's what I want to visually see it most of the time unless I need to go in and search for a specific clip or some moment where something happened. So we go back again, go back and let's see, you got audio settings here. You can set the, uh, the volume of the doorbell or, uh, the audio volume. That's where you talk in and out of it to people at your front door. I put that all the way up cause I'm going to show you quick responses are pretty cool. I even recorded one uh, of myself and that's pretty cool because you can respond to anybody from anywhere in the world. If they, if you see them at your door, just tap a response and it plays it out the doorbell, uh, doorbell ringtone volume. And, uh, that's just going to do the ringtone, I believe at the doorbell itself, but mainly I got the doorbell, UV doorbell to play on my Alexas and they're going to notify me in, in the, on the Alexas in my house. And I'm going to show you how to set those routines up so that if you have any questions, you'll be able to do that too. So we'll go back out of sounds. Uh, let's see, indoor chime. See, we're going to have Alexa as chime, but you can buy a Eufy doorbell chime if you want, but why waste the money if you already have Alexas in your house? So go back or you can have the home base chime. But like I showed you in part one, my home base is up in the attic, so I wouldn't be able to hear it, but we're using Alexa anyway. So go back and here's quick response. Here's where I made my uh, message leave package. If I press play on that, it will play it back. You can leave the package at the door. So I'm going to show you this, the quick response little clip I took earlier today. Watch this. All right. I just wanted to share with you a couple of automated responses that you can have transmit from anywhere you are in the world with the app on your Eufy app on your phone. If I go into Eufy cam, and the top one is my front doorbell. So I'm gonna select play button on that to play the live view. And now at the bottom, if you see here next to that phone, there's a little message symbol. Press that. And these you have three automatically created responses. And I've left the fourth one that says leave package. But let me just show you this first one. Try the next one. It's pretty funny. Please leave it at the door. Works good. Okay, here's the one I made. So you can make it in your real voice if you want. Thank you. You can leave the package at the door. So I like that. And like if you're not home, it will appear that you're home because you're leaving a response, verbal response to whoever is outside your door. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and set up a routine. Say for instance, I want it to show on my Alexa. We'll use this one right here. We're gonna make a routine so if somebody rings the doorbell, it's gonna show up there. Display it on our screen there. I meant to open the Alexa app. Now we're gonna go down to more, the bottom right corner, select more. And we're gonna select routines select routines about halfway down and we're going to select plus at the top right corner to add a new routine in a routine name we're going to say front doorbell on office Alexa, oops, 
don't say it. Don't say the word. Go back. I pronounce that oops, but I'm always working on how I say things and, and I might not next. have it right. And then when this happens, plus sign. When a smart home thing happens, select smart home. And we're looking for front doorbell, not front door ring cam. I removed that. I trashed that thing. It's useless unless you want to pay a monthly service fee. So guys, get a UP doorbell and trash your ring cams. All right, let's select front doorbell. Uh, doorbell, we want it, something to happen when somebody presses the doorbell, not when it picks up motion. So I'm going to select doorbell. When front doorbell is pressed, save. And then what action do we want it to do? And first of all, we want it to do it anytime somebody presses that doorbell. The action, you'll select plus sign. And we're going to select custom action at the top on my uh, Alexa app. It's at the top. Select that. And then we're going to say, uh, uh, we're going to say, show front doorbell or whatever you named yours. That's what I named mine. Show front doorbell. And it's going to ask that Alexa to do that for us. And then next. And before we move ahead now, I'm going to add another action. I'm going to select the plus sign. I'm going to select Alexa says. Oops. And customized at the top. Someone rang the doorbell. So it will notify me first. And select next, the top right. And next. So the actions are going to play in order. It's first it's going to say someone rang the doorbell. And then it's going to ask that Alexa show front doorbell on the screen. So, and you got to ask it, well, what device do you want that custom thing to show on? So choose device at the bottom and I'm going to pick my office. Uh, not, let's see. Todd's Bible office, show office there and then save at the top right. Routine created successfully. And that's how you do that. Now we're going to go test that out real quick before we move on. All right, I'm going to leave you right here. You watch the display. I'm going to go ring the front doorbell right now. I'm going to ring the doorbell now. I'm pressing it. Your package. Did it work? All right, there's a much easier way to use this if you don't want to get into creating custom routines. So if we go back into the Alexa app, <clears throat> and this time we're going to search for devices down there at the right corner, devices, select that. And we're going to look for our doorbell, our UFI doorbell. And I've got it located in the front yard group. And there it is under cameras, front doorbell, select that. And once you're here, if you select the gear icon in the top right corner, that will give you some more options here. You can rename it if you want. Right now, we're going to go ahead and make announcements if someone comes to the door. So uh, first, we're going to select announcement devices, tap on that. And here you can check any of your devices that you want it to make that announcement on when there's motion or if somebody rings the doorbell. So I got it on several devices here and I'm going to actually uh, check it on Todd's office show because I'm going to show you an example from right here. We're going to go test it out in a minute and then go back, select back at the top left corner. And then we're going to toggle on motion announcements and toggle on door press announcements. Now this won't show you the video but it will make that announcement on 
whatever room your echo is in, whatever echo you select. So now we're going to go ahead out of here at the top left corner, hit the back arrow and back arrow again and again and we're out. I'm going to close this up. Now I'm going to go out front and I'm going to just motion by it first and see if we get the announcement you're going to be here and then I'll also uh, ring the doorbell and see if we get that announcement here. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna go test it out. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna pretend like I'm dropping off something here. Package. I got the notification on screen anyway. Our button lights up when it detects motion, so give somebody a clue of what they should do, where they should press. So I'm going to press here. All right, let's see what happens. And that about wraps it up. That's all I have for you guys on the Eufy wireless doorbell, battery operated with camera. I'm pretty happy with all the features and uh, for the money, you do get lots of features wrapped up into this product and I'm happy with it. I'll leave the link below in case you're interested and guys, I'll see you on the next one.